Welcome to Aid to the Church in Needs, Where God Weeps, a program dedicated to the situation of the suffering church around the world. Some 10% of the Vietnamese population is Catholic. Things have improved in Vietnam, but it is not yet possible to say that freedom of religion is completely restored in this communist country. Vietnam is, uh, with China, one of the most persecuted churches in Asia, at least in the last few centuries. In some area of uh, Vietnam, there are still many violence. On Christmas Day or on uh, Easter, Catholics, they cannot celebrate masses or they cannot uh, have catechesis and uh, teaching their children their own faith because the local government, they don't allow at all any expression of faith. In practical terms, they want to destroy the Catholic faith. Most of the violences now in Vietnam against the Catholic Church happen because of graft and because of corruption of the cadres of the Communist Party. Because Vietnam is in the middle of a transformation. Many cadres of the Communist Party become owners of buildings which before belonged to the church or to other religions. And they built up tourist resorts, villas, and so on, in order to sell them to the growing market in Vietnam. The Catholics are right in their request. The response, the answer of the communist regime is to beat these people, to arrest them. There is even in Wien, uh, they have taken a priest and they've launched him from the second floor of, of, uh, of the building. Other priests have been beaten and they are in coma. So there is this violence, which is a way to cover the voice of uh, the right questions of the, these poor Catholics.